Hey, how you doing? Hello. Welcome to another episode of Grayscale Painting. As some of you may have seen, I've been doing a lot of um, 3D acrylic pour type of work. And I guess I'll show you how I do it. And something that you guys can do, you don't necessarily have to have an acrylic pour to do it. Any type of background would do. Um, but it's just, it looks for me, to me, it looks more engaging with a, an acrylic pour. Um, especially if you if you have a pour you don't quite like it or it didn't come out the way you want it You can always do something with it. It's not always a wasted canvas Okay The technique I'm going to show you is very simple to do. I, um, I Choose to use black because it kind of just brings it out a little bit more All right, but that's just the only reason why I would use um, Black all right For me to emphasize even more about how uh, uh, the bring out the the color okay what I am going to do is utilize um, a little bit of blue to glaze um, the blue pour so I'm gonna I'm a glaze blue on top of the glue on the pour it sets it back more so once you reveal the tape the bars stick out that much more and the 3d effect um, pops out even better okay and all you need is a very thin amount of blue color because you don't want to necessarily hide the the white or whatever color that you use that's bright okay um, there's even bits of red on the top you don't you yeah you might see glimpses of it but they're in there in between the cells and there's even more of that covered in the tape okay now with this pour it does have um i put glitter in it all right so the glitter shines through even when you glaze it over the glitter will still shine through all right uh what else oh once you put on the color if you choose to do that just let it fully fully dry because you need to put the black on okay and i'll show you the steps in doing that like i say this is very simple you don't necessarily, once you're done with it, you don't have to, um, and you don't have to make it geometric. Okay. You can do really whatever you would, you would like. All right. But once you um, get it on there and let it fully dry, you don't necessarily have to put anything on top of it. Now, I'm going to put a floral in here, but you don't necessarily have to. All right. Now, what I am going to do is I do have a little bit of blue. Uh, paint left over from one of my projects. I'm dipping a flat two inch brush. Maybe it's a one and a half inch brush. It's not necessarily a two inch brush um, I'm dipping it in water and I'm going into my phthalo blue, but I only need a little bit of Phthalo blue because all I want really is a light glaze. I'm gonna show you how to do it now if you feel you may have put too much on You can always wipe it off, but all you need is a thin glaze to set the color back from the taped bars okay and I got my blue on here and basically you just cover it in just like this it's a nice little blue glaze and leave it be once it's in there leave it alone okay now it's in there I'll just leave it alone don't it dries obviously it dries darker if it's too dark you can always adjust it especially when it's wet and that's all I'm doing right now it's just glazing a little bit of water and paint together because all I want really is a light glaze like I say if I have too much on I can bring some from there onto the other one if you feel it's too much all right just scrape it off and just continue it on I'm gonna get a little more water and you don't need as much wa uh, 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 water it's like a little gentle dance you're doing remember you don't necessarily have to use phthalo blue phthalo is pretty dark all right now on this glaze on this canvas I've already primered the canvas all right and yes you can you can paint on top of primer canvas acrylic paint paints on top of anything and basically I'm just taking a very small bit of water some paint and this is it just glazing that darker blue on there nothing no special than just glazing color okay that's all getting a little more paint little touch of water you don't want it too watery because remember with this brush you can move the paint around so you can thin it out okay 
you're not hurting anything. And you can manipulate it, move it around. Okay, I'm just getting a touch more water because I got more paint than water. I'm coating both sides of the brush. And you can see the color shift as you're doing it. And it's really up to you how dark you want it. Okay, and it's entirely up to you. Since you're dealing with water and acrylic paint, it will dry. Also, it depends on the temperature of your room. If your room's a little warm, it's going to take a little longer. If the temperature's a little cool. Uh, actually, if your temperature's a little cool in your room, it's going to take longer. If the temperature's a little warm, it's going to dry that much faster. All right. I really don't have to mess with this anymore, really. It seems to have taken. It's on there evenly. Um, there's no, no gaps. And there is, you will see a visible... Um, uh, difference in tone once you take the tape off all right and really that's all you have to do and you just let it fully dry so right now um, I just simply let it alone and let it fully dry and uh, we're gonna go on to the next step it's gonna be a transition change for you but for me I have to wait a few minutes but we'll be right back okay like I said just a transition and we're back this is totally dry all right, now we're gonna come to the part where we add the shading. All right, little trick to that. Take a permanent marker. You're gonna have a shaded side and you're gonna have um, an unshaded side, obviously. I'm gonna go different. Usually I do the shaded side going from the upper quadrant to the right, upper to the right, upper to the right, upper and to the right. We're gonna go actually, um, upper but to the left so the shading side will be on this side shading 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 all right so that means that the thin black line will be if you can see it here it will be from the bottom and you don't necessarily have to make it as perfect as you would think even if you have to do half of the black line half on the tape half on the um half on the tape and half on the uh, on the canvas. It's all right. Like I say, it doesn't have to necessarily be perfectly straight. You'll see in a second why. Because once you pull the tape off, it's going to appear to be a thin line anyway. You follow me? Now, right where it's a little weak at, I can go closer to the seam of the canvas. You have to press down a little hard. All right. Don't be bashful about your about your uh, marker. You just have to press it down so there's obviously a seam there now remember it looks a little, it looks thick but it won't be when you peel the tape off and it's like the letter l here i'm going to do the same thing down here and all i'm doing is just repeating okay so if your line looks a little wonky that's okay most of my most of my line is actually on the tape itself so it will be a nice even thin line and all you it's all you need really is a black line indicating the one side of the bar okay that's it so trust me don't worry don't panic it will come out to look magnificent because your selling really is the 3d effect of the shading side this is just gauging how much of the shading side or how much of the line side you want shown so if it looks kind of crazy right now expect it to be it's okay this is okay this is the building up stage you always got that little ugly duckling stage don't worry about that so we've got our black lines already established okay even though it looks thick it's not because most of it is on the tape all right okay now this is where you do the half loading segment of this all right i'm going to dip my brush it's just a long handled uh three quarter inch brush this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas all right i'm gonna take a little bit of moisture off of the brush i'm only gonna go half with the black paint i'm gonna wipe it back and forth now watch what i'm gonna do i'll do it with the farther line here the dark half obviously goes most of it's gonna go on the tape and you just mark it down just like this see how simple this is look at this and what you do is you go back and forth till you get a nice fade of the color going into the blue that's all just like that and you leave it alone instant 
gradation from dark to light instantly. I'll give him a little more paint. And you do the same thing over here. Same thing, back and forth. Don't be shy. Put some weight on that brush. And you're getting that nice gradual fade from dark to light. Very simple. They have such an incredible effect. Doing the same thing here. I will go back and forth and I will gradually fade it. Okay. Just like so. I'm getting a little more water. I don't wipe the brush off. I don't wipe the brush off at all actually. I'm just working that fade again. Right up top here. Back and forth. Get a nice gentle fade. I may need a little bit more paint. Because oh, you want it solid. There we go. You want it solid on that one side there. Just like that. Just work it in. Work it in there. If you feel you got to go over, over it a couple times, go and go over it. But there it is. See how simple that fade is? Now, where you got that line, you'll put the line right in here, right in here, and right in here. You're doing the same exact thing. Okay. This requires a painting method that you don't, you're not shy with the paint. Okay. Um, right here. Just like that. Make sure you got that nice little fade going. You got to have a, gra a gradation there on the edge. Just like that. Keep playing around with it. You'll get it. You'll get that nice 3D edge. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Make sure you get it even as you can. Put it right on that tape. Get a nice gradation going. And all this is you just wiping back and forth. Just like so. I mean, you can physically see what it's starting to look like there. Okay, I'm just getting some more paint. Got the longer one here. Keep it even. Go right up to the top here and make it even. Come on down. And don't be shy about really wiping that paint on there. That's what's helping you get the fade. Okay. Keep it solid at the beginning and you nicely fade it out. Now I'm wiping my brush off, getting most of the paint off, I'm just wiping it off and I'll work that fade just, just like that, work that fade in there. Work that fade right up in there. Getting some more paint, only on one side of the brush, that's it. There we go. Make sure you get it nice and solid. And just work that fade right in there. Okay, work that fade up in there. Just like so. I'm looking at it here. Fade, 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 and fade. The top corner. So we're going to work the fade from, let me think here. Right from here. Right from here dark side on the bottom and you work it this way just like that just like that work that fade right in there just like that see that and we're going to do it again on each one one slightly below the other one so it's right here work that fade right in there work it in don't be afraid to press press that fade right in there there we go. And once you see the fade start, you leave it be. All right. You might be going over it a couple of times. You have to wait for the paint to dry. All right. To see the effect. But it only dries in a few seconds. A few minutes, rather. Just like that. Have it meet. There you go. You can start to see what the effect is looking like. If you have a black uh, fade that's a little light on the other side, darken it. There you go, just darken it up. See? Just darken it. 
we got some right here that needs to be worked on a little stronger. Don't be afraid to press. Press that paint on there. Okay. So I'm looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. We got um technically we got one more to add, but it would be it would have been faded up up top. But what I'll do, I I think I'll just add another black thin black line up up, up top there. To frame that. I don't want to um, cover it with another fade, so I'll just use a thin black line, and I'm gonna put a nice line right there, go right across. I'm pressing down pretty firmly there, and that's all I need for that. And believe it or not, it's done. Okay. So, whatever you want to add into this okay you can add it oh wait a minute wait a minute I forgot I forgot very important got to add the thin line on the top here on each one press down put it right in there Go on the other side, down below. You're gonna do the same thing for each one. I'm pressing down fairly, fairly hard here. There we go. All right, now I believe I got every one of them. I, as of right now, I can't take it off because whatever I'm gonna put in here, it's gonna appear to be behind the bars here. Okay, so whatever I want to put in here as right now, now this also helps in your 3D. Whatever I want to put will be behind here. Then I'll peel the tape off and then whatever I want to put in front of all of that will be in front. And so that gives it a really 3D look. Okay, so I'll put a lighter flower back in here. So I can just kind of swirl it around like this. side here just like that for right now I'm just putting in a shape okay that's all I'm gonna get a little bit of red now what I'm gonna do with this red is I'll create a quick bowl in here maybe right around in here somewhere I'll just emphasize that red a little bit right up in here like that and maybe play around with that red on the outside like that Maybe a little bit here, curve it like that. All right, rinsing off the brush real fast. Like I say, this is a three quarter inch brush. I'm rinsing it off really good here. Make sure I get all the paint out of there. I remember this fellow will be behind those bars. I'm getting a little bit of white, mixing it in with that kind of orangey color I got and I'll um, think I'll play around with that right up around in this edge here something like that this kind of gives some a little bit of brightness in there just like so I can probably emphasize that a little bit more just like that kind of bring it in here We'll cup that a little bit, make a little presses there. So we'll concentrate on maybe the, the brightness being around in that area, right in there. Okay, all right, I'm wiping off my brush and I'm gonna just kind of smooth that out a little bit, just like that. I'll keep that hard edge there, but I'll smooth it out in there. All right, let's take some of, uh, we'll take a little bit more red, we'll put it in this orangey color. And we'll get some uh, stuff going behind here. Something like this. Just to shape out some of these fellas. No definition or anything yet. These are the kind of the petals underneath. And we'll kind of give it a couple of quick swipes in here. Maybe a few swipes in here. Okay. We'll lighten those up as we go along. I won't use this super thick brush for that. These are just for the broad strokes and brush bites. Lonesome. Stuff. I'm going into a half inch brush. Okay. And we'll start adding a few things 
few petals and whatnot. I'm going into nothing but red for the bottom, for the bottom fellas here. Uh, I am going to use a little bit of glycerin. I'll put my top right here. Okay, I'm going to dip into a little bit of glycerin with my paint. I got nothing but uh, cat red here. All right. And we're just going to start to pop in some. Pop in a few dark edges in there. Nothing but red. These are the, these are the petals underneath this fella. So, And we're just going to kind of play around with them. Come on in here with it. I may... Um, I may um, add a little bit of highlights in here with this fella. We'll see as we go on here. But right now, I'm just slightly building up what I want to do with it. All right. Because these colors are so closely related to each other, it's easier really to kind of blend all this in. Yes, I paint right on top of the tape. Act like the tape isn't there. Get some rough edges there going. Just like that. Like I said, we'll do some slick little highlights on those flowers down below. But they are down below. I'm going to get a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow. And a tiny bit of glycerin to loosen up this paint a little bit. Like I said, we're going to be kind of coy with the highlights on those lower flowers because they're not really to be shown too brightly. I'm getting a slight touch of white to brighten it up just a little bit. Just a tiny bit of white. It makes it a little opaque. Get a nice tight wedge of your brush. And we'll, we'll do a little highlight. I'll just kind of pop it in there like that. Just on the edges out there. Just like that. And we'll come here, we'll give it a little push and we'll kind of make this one kind of be on top of things here. I'm over, slightly overlapping a little bit. Okay, I'll give it a little push for color. These don't have to really stand out. Because once again, they're on the bottom. Okay. And we'll, we'll kind of play around with some of that there. Just like that, and we'll kind of fade it away there. And maybe we we'll give them a little something on the outside there. Just play around a little bit. Okay. All right. Just like that. I'm going to go with a little bit of yellow. Uh, yellow is extremely transparent. So I'm just using just pure yellow. Yes, too transparent actually. So I had to pump, bump up that yellow with a little white. I'm going to really load in that yellow and that white. Don't need too much super highlight for this. Just maybe maybe like a like a little line. Something like that. See that? And you can skip one. Come here. Okay. If you want to really emphasize a little more yellow on, on one side, then you bring it in like this. Okay. Just a few. Maybe, maybe accentuate that one and bring it in like that. and something like that they don't have to really 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 be shown okay all right let's take some of that yellow and white a little glycerin there a little bit of yellow and white we got some petals up above in the back back there all right we're gonna take that press and we get one there press got one there press got one there press and you can curve them in there like that uh, we'll kind of bring him in there like so. All right. And we got another one. I didn't take any paint off the brush. Just like that. Have him disappear in there. Okay. We got one back here. We just kind of play around with him. Just kind of just fade him. He's in the back, in the back there just relaxing. All right. Okay. Let's get a little more white into this mix. We're going to concentrate right here on this lip. Give it a little push and curve it in. 
and then I'm just gonna give it a little a little push just like that curve it curve it strongly that way really kind of bring him out there like that the lights really hitting over there let's bring some partners for him um, you can actually just kind of curve in real real quick and kind of make little teardrop shapes in there looks like so get a little glycerin and we're gonna come here right on the outside and we're just gonna kind of pop in some see how to get a little smaller you can come on with another one give it a little thick and pop them in there just nice little line there faded out that line will help you out and we'll curve him in like so okay and we can kind of put a little something curve them in there like that just like that okay let's um let's get some guys in the uh in the middle in there i'm gonna get a little touch of red mix it in with this bright color i have Get a little, little bit of glycerin, loosen up that paint. He's already in the inside here, back here. All right, we're gonna come, give him a little push here like that, just like that. And we're gonna come around, we're gonna do it again, right out, out here. Okay, and we're gonna come here, and we're gonna kinda curve one in there, and we're gonna go the opposite way there, just like that circle them in he he's not they're not getting that much light come out here and do this for the same same thing in here and we'll kind of circle them around come out here right on the tape here we're gonna kind of aim him this way curve him right on around in there like that okay i'm just cleaning off the brush real quick we're gonna go more toward the yellow Getting a little bit of glycerin, just a little bit. Getting some more yellow. Really emphasize some yellow here for this guy. Okay. And we'll kind of pop him in there like that. Really transparent color. It's okay. All right. That actually helps more than anything. Let's give him a little nice rim of yellow right up out there too. All right. We'll kind of touch up some little bit of highlight back there. Let him sneak up a little highlight right in there all right you see that let's take some of that yellow put it right on top of some of these guys here kind of emphasize some of that yellow there and i'm not making a rim i'm just kind of filling in what i've already laid down with a little bit of yellow let's put a little more yellow tinge on that you can do whatever you feel okay like i say right now i'm just kind of see this I'm gonna bring some of that yellow out right here a little more yellow in there like that um I got a little bit here I'm just tinting a little more yellow into that pinkish color like so all right okay now let's go for some direct highlights for that guy let's really make it pop out nothing but uh titanium white the brighter the highlight the less of it you need I'm gonna use just a wee bit of yellow but a lot of white I'm gonna tint it with yellow and we're gonna come here and we're gonna give it a little push see this and this is all I all you need really give that little push of color there not really a lesson on florals I'm just using florals as just an example right now okay we're going back into our white this is pure highlight color no glycerin kind of want it to really stick out right here see how you can really emphasize an edge now come up here and I'm just curving it around don't necessarily gotta make them even I'm just giving a nice little curl okay so I'm just emphasizing now I'm gonna get some glycerin loosen up this bright paint just to emphasize where the bright area is on this uh, particular painting right here come out there right here come out right here and really I'm just emphasizing 
just the uh, the brightness on the pedals themselves, right on the edge of the pedals. Put it right in there. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Okay. Makes them look a little translucent also. I'll put some of that brightness in here like this. I don't have to add it everywhere. This will be important right here to really brighten that up, curve it in just like that. Okay. I think I got a little bit more. Let's kind of pop that out like there, aim it in there. Pop that out, aim it in there like that. All right. I can probably tease maybe like right here and just kind of aim it in. Because when you get a bright one like that, they kind of tend to come out front a little bit more. All right. Okay. I think that's about all I need to do really with at least the pedals on this flower. Because remember, this guy will appear to be behind these bars. You follow me? All right. So let's pan back a little bit. And let's aim this camera downward. Let's put, um, let's get a little bit of brown. And um, a little bit of yellow in that brown. And a slight touch of that um, phthalo blue. Which is going to give me a deep, deep brown green here. Uh, just a tiny bit of glycerin. This is, I use heavy body acrylic paint. All right. Uh, let's kind of give him a little, little stem there. Make that stem a little beefy and have it come around this way. Just like that. All right. Let's pan back. Well, we're not really concentrating on the flower. We're just concentrating on the stem. Now, remember, we got the light source on the outside. So I'm taking a little bit of white. That's a thin layer of white. And we're gonna put it in here like this. Just like so, have it come around. It's in the back still, just like that, all right? I'm gonna wipe off the paint, off my brush. And we'll kinda blend that in there a little bit. I'll blend it in there, it's just like that. Blend it, blend it in there. There. Blend it right in there. There we go. It's all right. Blend it in. Okay. Let's take some. Um, actually, I'm gonna take a little bit of black. I'll put the black in with the green. All right. A slight bit of glycerin. Well, put some black. Mix that black in with the. Uh, we'll put some blue in there. And then we'll put a tinge of yellow in there. It's gonna give it a super deep dark green. All right. Okay. We're gonna come here and we'll get some kind of oval petals going in here, just to, like this, and come to a point. Make a more rosish looking petals there. Come out here, we're gonna get the same little oval thing there. Just like that. Make sure you put that tip in there. Just like that. Oh, uh, we'll continue and I will put one right up in here. Go over the tape, act like the tape isn't present. Trust me, you'll thank me for it later. It's like that, okay? I'm going back into my dark black greenish mix. Half inch brush, I never stray away from the half inch brush, really. Come here, do the same thing on the other side. I know sometimes you'll see them, sometimes you won't. Okay, we'll put one right in here like this. And we're gonna put one down here. Aim one down there like that. Just like so. You made them bump into each other, make them overlap. It doesn't matter. Put them right in there. I'll put one right up in here like this. The more haphazard looking they look, the better they look. Trust me. Yes, I'm painting right on the tape. Act like it's not there. Don't kill the flow. All right. Let's get a little bit of white. And a little bit of yellow little white little yellow 
add a little vein in there and I'll just kind of pop a highlight in there put a little vein in there and I'll just kind of pop a little baby highlights in there nothing too serious put make sure that yellow line is in there I'm gonna give a little push just for a little border okay same thing here come here and pop a little border in there like that all right just like that going back into my whitish yellow green mix pop in another one in here and I'm just doing quick little uh, just like that um, we got one here pop one in here real quick remember don't don't lose your flow okay I'll kind of get some shading here with this fella add one in there a little something here and kind of really painting a mood if anything all right <clears throat> now something I don't normally do and that I should and I don't I'm just get a thin sliver of black here and we'll put some uh put little thorns on this guy something I don't normally do so we get some some thorns on this fella like this and we'll pop the thorns in there I don't normally um, paint the thorns really simple to do it really and some sharp eyed folk will notice them some you know some will notice them some won't but I'll just put them in black here and little, little, little thorny things in there real quick all right okay so we got we got uh, one completed more or less okay and you notice he's a brighter fella but he's in he's going to be in black white let's, let's, let's play with the white I don't usually use the white right up in here add some of the stamens in there have it heavier toward the bottom just like that circular motion have it pretty heavy here and you just kind of make them sparse out here a little bit have it melt in a little all right I'm just getting a little more white we're gonna make it a little dense toward the highlighted side right up in here just like making just like so let's make it a little dense on one side just like that okay now at this point we can actually um, take the tape off and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about okay so once again like I said this has already been varnished this part so it's you know you slightly give it a pull lift be gentle be careful pull lift and you'll start to see the brightness now I can see right now I need a thicker I need a thicker line right in here now this gets um, my head is in the way I'm sorry yeah I just need a thicker line there <coughs> I might be doing that a few times all right let's peel the tape off and now you'll start to see the brightness of the original canvas you see the lines okay once again I need a thicker line there sometimes you hit the mark sometimes you don't it's called being human it's all right okay and for every one that I'm gonna take off I'm just gonna add it on there I'm gonna use the thicker side of the marker there mm -mm -mm. 
won't need it on every one. But now you start to see what it looks like. See, a lot of these effects, the tape does the hard work for you. Okay, you follow me? Now, what I'm going to do when it's totally dressed, I'm going to go back over this with black. I'm going to go back over that with black. So it's, it's truly selling the, the point that this flower is actually behind everything. Okay. Uh, it might be a little wet. I'm going to add, I'm going to try to add the black line here. It might be a little wet. Let's see. It did it. It did it. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh, I might keep the tape on the bottom for the other floral. I don't necessarily have to keep the tape on the side. I can take. I can take the side. Get rid of the side. So you guys can actually see what's happening here. I don't need it on the top necessarily. I don't need it here on the side. But as you can see how tight that line is. See? See how tight the line is there? Now you can see the 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 um, the workings of the shading. It automatically just brings it out. All right. Then like I said, I got the. I got the fades going in the other direction. All right, so they're actually coming from this side instead of the inside. I got them on the outside. Okay. All right. Um, I'm thinking here. Get okay. half of my my paint on the brush. Don't need too much. And once again, oh, that's right. I don't have the tape here. Be careful, Anthony. I want to have the tape protecting me. One swipe across usually would do it. Of course, it wasn't totally dry. It's okay. That's all right. I can cover that up. Not if I got yellow on the other end of the brush. But sorry, right. see how I can still cover it up. That's no big deal. But this is what I wanted to do. Get that, that darkness in there. Right up in here. Darken it right up there. Just like it just brings the flower. Um, There we go. I'm getting a little more black because it's a little wet here. But you know, I can I can do something with that. I can cover that up. That's okay. Just like that. Bring it right in there. Okay. There. It brings it brings it right together I don't need that I don't think I need to add anything else to that that's pretty much what I want done okay all right but now you see that the flower is actually behind all of that see okay now the next floral will be in front of it okay now I've already got it up this high the next one will be a little bit lower down here but now you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't need to really add, um, add the, have the tape on the top. Hold on for a second. I can remove this. Now, the reason why I can take the tape off that fast is like once again, this has been completely varnished. That tape, is, that paint is not coming off off that canvas. Okay. So now we have a floral inside of those bars. We're going to paint a floral on the outside of those bars now. Okay. All right. And we'll get right onto it right now. All right. And we'll, we'll kind of um, put this fella right up in, in here somewhere like that. See that right? Put it right on top. I'll have some of that come in front of the other other fella right in there. 
no glycerin, just this dark paint up around the side in here. Something like that. All right. Okay. We'll get a little bit of red, just red out the tube red. And we'll put him right up around in here somewhere. And we'll kind of float him out that way. That. Something like, like that. We'll kind of make the bowl this way. Something like that. And we'll kind of put some of that red out there. Like that. Once again, we'll get some white. A little bit of yellow. Okay. And we'll kind of give him a we'll give him a little push right up in here like that and we'll fade that in there and we'll kind of make it disappear around in there just kind of give him a little something on that, on that edge out there but we'll curve this in make that disappear just like that okay <clears throat> I'm not going to use a three-quarter brush on this one I will go back to my half inch we'll make him a little brighter he stands out a little bit more all right we'll put the three-quarter brush back we'll uh, concentrate with the half inch brush primarily with this guy okay all right let's um let's emphasize some really emphasize some yellow on this fella a little bit get a little bit of white I'm gonna need some more white paint that that's obvious but let's get this part done first all right little little push and go this way little push go that way a push like I say this is not really a floral video but I am some of that out there yes like that very gentle just like that hopefully I'm not in the way I'll put that there and cup it and go that way all right so we got an instant cupping of of a flower right here we we'll just cup that just like that we'll take my finger we'll fade some of that out there there we go it's like that instant cupping of a yellow flower okay you know what I like the way that looks therefore let's um let's continue that I like the way it looks let's push inside go that way push inside go that way uh, let's come out this way like that and curve him in and we'll give him a well let's strengthen that one out a little bit there and then we'll kind of block that color in like this we'll fade that out with my finger just like that make it nice and rounded almost like a almost almost like a cabbage roll just about fade fade the outside keep the inside pretty so we'll, we'll do a, a number of those because I, I like the way they look I'm gonna loosen up my paint get some more of that half bright color there because it's, it's the inside of this thing but come in and keep a little bit here um we'll lightly brush that out just like that just like this so we'll cup a little bit of that in there. Use my finger just to fade it out a little bit. We're going to go on the other side. Cup and go to the bottom. Cup, go to the bottom. Cup, go to the bottom there. Bring some of that down that way like that. All right. Just like that. So he's cupped in a little bit in that area. Okay. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's go way out here. Just like this. And right. we're going to come like that. And we'll fill this in. We'll fill that in. Just like we'll fade this out a little bit. Just use my finger, just fade it out. I need more white, so give me a few seconds here. To put some more white down. <coughs> All right, and we're going to get some white. Pop it in with that yellow. Just brightening it, the yellow up. I'm getting a little glycerin just to loosen up the paint just a slight bit. Okay, right here. Um, we'll give a little push in that way. A little push, a little push, a little push. We're going to curve it. Curve it again. Just like that. All right, so I like the way that's coming out. Let's 
let's get some of that brightness over here on this outside one just like that popping them in there um probably can get one right here too cross them just like that and bring that out and just fade it that's okay fade them right out and make sure to put a curve in there let's put that in let's brighten that edge up give him a curve just like that and then we'll fade him out there it's all right give him a little point okay there much like that so we circle him right around I just put paint on my sweater of course all right enough of that drama oh uh, let's do one more um we'll have him come here but we're gonna really come out like that okay we're gonna go brighter brighter white more of a yellow flower so we can get away with a lot of titanium white it's still a mix okay so right here boom just like this sometimes all you need is a slight edge and that's it okay and curve them around a little bit there all right i kind of like i like i like that i'm gonna get destroy that bottom edge though fade it right out all right okay everything else we'll just kind of play with um we'll kind of let's do this let's let's uh go here Just like that bring it right in and we're gonna curve them and go in this way right there soften that a little bit and then we're gonna come here and all we're gonna do is add a little rim okay so we got a little curve in that guy all right, I'm just playing around with some a few outside edge things. Uh, we'll play with something here, just like that. Destroy that inside edge just a little bit. Going into our yellow, I'm adding the tiniest dot of red, just to deepen it just a little bit. Now, red is extremely powerful color. Be careful. Get some uh, glycerin in here. Loosen up this color, this particular kind of color. And uh, we'll come on outside here. We'll give a little, little, little touch and a little, little push. We'll go on the other side like that. We'll kind of put one in here. And I'll curve it around. We'll go this way. Just like that. Okay. Uh, give him a little little point there like that okay we'll come uh, in here we'll aim this way right and give it a little point there we'll curve it and we'll have one come up this way so he's a little rounded there and uh, we'll fill that fill that in like that we'll round this part off there so what I'll do, what I just did is I just created a flip to petal. So we're going to take a little bit of white. I didn't totally wash everything off my brush. Just pure um, white right now. And we'll just kind of give it a little edge here. A little edge. A little edge. Just like that. Come on around. A little edge right there. And we'll kind of curve it. Just like that. So we got a little flip to petal there. Okay. All right, we can create one here real quick too. One, just like that, kind of. So we got a fl two flip pedals there, just like that. So I got two flip pedals. Um, and when you add something so bright like that, you can actually beef up what you have up up here. Add a little more brightness there. All right, just like that. So you know, you kind of got a, a brighter edge there. Get a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. No glycerin, because now I'm just beefing up certain areas. Just like that, just beef up some of that color. Bring it down a little bit. Uh, guess we add a little bit of love in here. 
just like that just bring it in there see that All right. looks like a really really uh, peeled orange doesn't it uh, I think we're good there with that we got a little couple of turns in there a little flips and stuff um, I don't necessarily have to add anything else right now I'm just doing stuff just to do it Basically, I'm just getting rid of some of this bright yellow that I have because I like the way it looks. To be honest with you, I just like the way it looks. And just, just destroy that bottom edge a little bit, curve it. <coughs> I'm not getting rid of the yellow on the brush. I'm just using straight red out of the tube here. Get a little glycerin. Ooh, that might be too much glycerin, but we'll we'll make it work. Straight um, um, red. We'll come out here in the outer petals, and we'll start to kind of form in some things back here. All right, and we'll come out here a little bit, and we'll come out here at a point. And I'm just adding shapes now to this guy. But you see it's red back here it's, it's a little darker we'll come out and we'll add some really flamboyant stuff out here we'll curve one in like that and we'll come out here add some some of that guide it in guide it around these are just guys on the outside here that's all oh they're just fellas hanging around chilling on the outside okay all right I'm gonna take that same red, I'm mixing it in with yellow. I'm gonna mix it in with, actually this color might suffice what I got. Now let's add a little white to that. Cause I wanna add a little more yellow tint. Going in with more yellow with this. Making plenty of it here. Okay, this might suffice a little bit. This might, might work. Okay, get a little bit of glisten. I'm gonna thin out this paint. Then I'm going to flatten it out, get a nice sharp edge. I got plenty of paint on here. All right, we'll come in the inside and we'll stuff, start messing around with little shapes here. See this? That's all. And we come out here, we get one this way, like a point. Come out here, give a little point, go on the inside. Just messing around with different petal shapes. Um, let's have one come out this way and we'll curve them in like that we'll have one kind of come here like this we'll start it no we'll, actually we'll we'll play with this one and we'll curve it curve it curve it curve it like that and we'll go make it an outside one flip it around just like that it's a little faded a little bit in here like this all right the only way you can see that is that I add some brightness to it and you'll see the curve so to accentuate what I just did just take it even if you have to go on top a little bit all you want is a nice rim of paint to accentuate what you've just done which is that curve and then I'll take it and we'll go outside I'll, I don't need to really stroke inward it's just to give you a path of where that pedal was going. And there you go. So it's curved around, it comes on the outside there. That's how you, that's how you have a little fun with your florals there. And um, it takes a little bit of practice. Yes, it does. But once you get it, you know, you can look at actual florals or buy the, um, you can buy um, the synthetic florals. Especially the ones that got the wire in them, you can arrange them any type of way and you can get so many paintings just from playing with those florals. Okay. So as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of, there we go. Now I'm just taking that same off color that we created and put it on top of that red, just like that. Just like so. All right. Mm, I don't think I really need to add too much more to anything. I'll come over here and play with that a little bit. 
give him a little edge there. Come up there like that and smooth him in. Just like that. Give him a little curve there. Okay. Um, all the rest is really just me glazing and playing around. Maybe I don't want it too red. Maybe I want it closer to the yellow. So I'll use some of this. Play around in here. Just block in some, some shapes. Okay. Come here. Using the paint on the sides and on the bottom of my brush. I'm just glazing in some lighter shapes there. Just like that. Some backgrounds. <coughs> so we'll go right so, in here. Really tight in there. Put them in there. And you slightly round it out a little bit. Just like so. All right, keep it kind of heavy on one side and just kind of flare them out a little bit like that. Okay, all right. Now remember, we're going to concentrate with this flower being on the outside. Okay, so let's aim downward. We don't have to, we're not really dealing with the flower now. Let's go back into our weird mixture of brown blue we'll do brown and blue uh, okay and we'll, we'll put him right out right out front we give him a kind of a thick one right there and we'll color we'll block that in just like that block him right in all right okay let's get a little bit of yellow a little touch of white Put it on the outside edge there like that and we'll kind of blend that in a little bit blend it right in there a little touch of titanium white put it in there we're gonna just brighten that up a little bit he's in front of us so kind of put him in there like like so okay all right let's get a little bit of a uh, reddish orange greeny whatever we'll block in some we'll block we'll make the more familiar leaves on this one i kind of like these guys back there actually but we'll uh we'll kind of what kind of block them in with the familiar ones up here we'll give them the familiar leaves that you normally see me paint you know what? I'm going to keep it just like that. Keep on running the side. Just like that. So we have one come to the side. We'll come over here. Right here. We'll have him come down this way. And, uh. Like that. <clears throat> and we're going to have the blocks. We're going to have to shut off for a second. A little bit of green mixed in. Got some titanium white. Okay, and we'll just kind of, um, I'll just create one. We got a, we got a top here, okay? We got the bottom here. The bottom will be shaded. We're gonna create a top half. Ready? Right on top right there. And we'll just kind of create one of our own. We'll create the top part of our leaf. Look at this. Interesting, huh? Look at that, we just create the top part, just like that. Fade it. Bring it back in a little bit. Just like that. Create our own top part of the leaf there. Give it a little bright curve there. And you just guide it in. Okay. Get some of that brightness. Smooth it out a little bit. And then there you got the top part of your own leaf. We're gonna brighten that up a little bit more because once it once it um once it starts to dry, it gets a little darker. Okay. So I'm adding some of this get a little black get a little yellow now we add some titanium white to that kind of a bright greeny yellow green thing going on give it a little push and pop it in there a little bright green there pop it in um, It's gonna have to be brighter than that. We'll keep working at it. Just like so. But we'll really brighten that up. 
I wanted to stand out a little bit more. So we'll get a little bit of titanium white. We use the titanium white. A little bit of yellow. Just like that. Brighten that ram up there a little bit. Turn my brush around and get a little bit of that edge in there like that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> get a little bit of black. A little bit of blue. Little tinge of what I got left of yellow. Little bit of glycerin. And we'll kind of give us a little something here. And we'll come around on the other side, kind of give it a little basic shape there. We'll fade that in a little bit. Don't got too much yellow and white left, but that's okay. We'll just use the light green. Little tinge of glycerin. Add some highlights to this guy. Right here, get a little press. Something like that. Bring this further. Fade it out a little bit there. Give it a little push of color there. Just like that. Get that customary center line going. Just like that. Spread that out a little bit. Bring center that on the other side. There, it's like that. Bring it on out there. Don't be, don't be, don't be scared. I'm gonna get a little phthalo for the dark half. A little touch of glycerin in there. some of that around I like I like the way some of that looks so let's kind of decorate that a little bit right on this side here because I like the way that looks so we'll fade that in there a little bit like so let's get some more striations in there too a little bit right up in here I like the striations, so we'll kind of pop them in there like that, just like so, okay, just like that, uh, okay, trace that line a little bit, bring some of that, bring some of that in there like this, turn my brush around, add a little brightness in there, some nice little characteristics going in there like this. Put a little bit of that in there, like that on the other side. Maybe even a little, little touch of something right there, like that. Pop it in there. Just a little bit of something. Like that. Okay. Uh, as I'm looking and looking, this one is a little large. That one seems to be further back. Therefore, let us play around with another giant leaf. Uh, we'll put him maybe we'll put him right there. Coming right off the page there. Alright. Got a little bit of glycerin on my dark black green mix. And we'll just kind of Smooth him right in there, just like that. And we're gonna, we're gonna put him in there like this. And he's gonna come right off in the front. Okay, get a little bit of white in whatever mix I got here. And we'll kinda highlight it right in there like that. Look at this, see that? 
you know, put the center vein in there real fast. All right, so we put a little bit of that guy right in front of that pedal that's folded in the back there, just to try to even up some things here on that one side. Get a little titanium um, phthalo blue, and we'll kind of pop some darkness in there. Okay, and we'll kind of shade him a little bit there. A little bit of shadow underneath. Just like that. Let's do the same thing with this fellow up here. I can give him a little, little dark shading underneath. You guys didn't see it, but it's there. All right. Let's do something kind of cute since we got those fellows in there like that, right? Well, um, let's do this. Let's get some brown. A little bit of that blue. A little bit of black. We'll play with some vines. Uh, we'll come here. It comes from out of here, up and over, just like that. Okay, so we got one kind of curving this way. We'll put a we'll put a plant right here, a little leaf, going out that way. Okay. Oh, uh, let's take this one, and we'll kind of actually let's go up underneath right here and we'll have one come this way like that so we'll really play with something here actually I like this let's kind of lengthen him let's make him one of those type of leaves going into my little bit of glycerin here just loosen up the paint just a tad and we'll kind of expand this guy just like that we'll turn this into one of those long leaves like that and since I did that, our, um, we're going to have to have a little friend for him. So his friend's going to come this way behind. Just like that. And we're going to aim him downward like that. Okay. All right. Let's go back into our brown. Go back into our thalo blue. And a little touch of black in there. Little bit of glycerin to thin that up just a tad. We're nearing the end of this, and we'll start to we'll kind of fancy ourselves some pretty neat looking leaves here. This is definitely an afterthought, but I thought it would kind of. I think you guys can see me do this. I got it far enough back, I believe. No, I don't. Right up here. Okay. So we got a fella back here. Spread him out a little bit. And then he's this way. Obviously, you see this one here. This one doesn't need any help. He's good where he is. Okay. All right. Let's get a little bit of white. Maybe a tinge of blue. Some glycerin. Just like that. Pop him some color in there. Just like that. Just like that. Pop him right in there. He's really sticking out there. I like that. Let's add a little more love with him. Just like this. Okay. I might just want to maybe pop in a little love, a little highlight love right up in there like that. I'm just using the white on the very edge of the brush. Just to kind of get him seen a little bit there because you, <coughs> you need a little <coughs> so you need a little bit of that to emphasize just like that there 
just like that. Okay, I really don't think I need to add anything else to this guy. Um, I like the way he's being formed there. I can bring some of this back a little bit. It's like that, bring it back a little. All right. All right, I really don't think I have to do any more to this painting. I will draw it back. You see the red in between the in the cells up there on top. That's what I was referring to. 16 by 20 inch um, actual canvas. So I have to um, stretch out the video a little more than what I normally would do. Oh wow, I just ruined my marker. Oh well. Isn't the first time, won't be the last, but I did destroy it. Yeah, this marker's trash. I'd have to get rid of it. But anyway, there it is, guys. All said and done. Okay. I hope you like um, me showing you this. Um, this is what the actual um, 3D acrylic pour and what it entails. Um, minus the interruptions um, as you can see the insides are darker than the actual bar this is the actual color of the, of the whole thing the bars the edges here and I just coated a very thin coat of phthalo blue in those areas just to bring the color back which brings out the edges in the bars brings them out more of course with the accented shading and I went in the opposite direction usually I would shade from the left I just decided to shade from the right on this one okay um, and the thin marker lines as you can see they're a lot tighter than you would have thought because of the tape all right and really that's that's it you know this is it is, this is what it is so I got these orangey yellow red uh, florals in here um, I forgot uh, obviously the one behind the bars and you got the one in front of but the leaves are going in between them uh, you got some going over you got some going past okay so there's always that little overlap thing that just helps sell the 3d imagery of this type of piece this style of work here love to hear your comments love to know what you think I shall see you when I see you and until next time.